There's a graphic novel that I'm reading right now. It's a story about a Korean admiral written by an American writer. It's the story of Lee Sun Shin. Pangpuana! This battle ends with our victory! Admiral Yi ruled the seas of the Joseon Dynasty. I went back in time, 400 years to be exact, and met with him. It's been a while since I first took interest in Korea. I majored in Korean studies at the School of Oriental and African Studies in London and came to Korea to learn more about the country. Among the many stories I've heard here, I was particularly captivated by the story of Admiral Lee Sun Shin. He is the one who led the Battle of Hansan Island, one of the world's four greatest battles at sea. In school in England as well, we hear about historical battles, battles like Trafalgar, which helped Britain become a very strong naval power. And also people like Admiral Nelson, uh, looked upon as great war heroes, just like Lee Sun Shin in Korea. Included in the world's four greatest naval battles are the Battle of Salamis in Greece. The 1588 Battle of Calais and the 1805 Battle of Trafalgar. The last two took place in my motherland, the UK. The Battle of Trafalgar, commanded by Admiral Lord Nelson, is frequently compared to the Battle of Hansan Island. Koreans can meet Admiral Lee Sun Shin in many places. One of them is the Lee Sun Shin Museum near Gwanghwamun. It displays various portraits and artifacts associated with Admiral Yi, including the famous turtle ship. There are also various programs that help visitors understand his battles. They offer a great deal of understanding, even for a foreigner like me. This gallery, located in Seoul's downtown, is a great place for people to come to find out more about Yi Sun Shin. Joseon's most revered commander, Admiral Yi. His name signifies greatness even in the 21st century. He never lost a battle, not one out of his 40 combats at sea. But why is his battle at Hansan Island considered one of the world's four greatest naval wars? I wanted to ask him myself. In my dream, I went back to 1592. It was the year when the Japanese army invaded Korea, or Joseon at the time. And there, I met the commander who guarded Joseon's South Sea, Yi Sun Shin. You, are you Admiral Lee Sun Shin? Mm. Well, well, pleased to meet you. He was assigned as a commander of the left Jala province during the Japanese invasions of Korea. He was a strategist who could foresee attacks and prepare in advance. There's something I've always wanted to show him. It's the comic book that introduced me to his story. I really wanted to show you this book. It shows just how famous you are all over the world in my time. Ho 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 ho. This is my dream. I don't know if I With Admiral Yi beside me, I decided to visit the fateful day of the Battle of Hansan Island. July 8, 1592, Admiral Lee celebrated a great victory against the Japanese army in the coastal waters of Hansan Island. Along with the battles of Jinju and Hengju, the Battle of Hansan Island is known as the three great battles during the period of Japanese invasion. It is also the most famous of the Admiral's 40 battles at sea. 
What is the reason for this? In the future, there's been lots of research done in you. So there's lots of information available about you and the battles you fought. There's even videos. Hmm. Added by Panuk Sun's or Boar Roof warships, Yuzunshin quickly attacked the enemy's fleet. When the enemy chased back, Joseon faked a retreat, luring the enemy toward the coastal waters of Hansan Island. Then, the Chosen army suddenly turned around and surrounded and attacked the enemy. It was the famous Crane Wing Formation, or Hagikchen, named as such because the ships resembled the crane with its wings unfolded. This strategy helped Admiral defeat 59 enemy vessels that day. Sunshin's Hagikjin was used 200 years before Nelson's T formation at Trafalgar. Jinhe, the city of Navy. To the Korean Navy, Admiral Lee Sunshin is one of their greatest heroes. The Chungmugong Leadership Center next to the naval base is where extensive research and teachings on Yi Sunshin take place. <music> Professor Jae Jang Myung is a graduate of the Republic of Korea Naval Academy, which makes him a descendant of the legacy of Yi Sunshin. For 10 years, he has been conducting research on Yi Sunshin. Professor, what was special about the tactics used in the Hansan Professor Jay has written many books on Yi Sun-shin. We asked him why General Yi's battle at Hansan Island is considered one of the world's four greatest wars at sea. What do you think was the special point, the special reason that helped the Koreans win the Hansan-do battle? 다른 세계 3대 해전과 마찬가지로 어그 해전의 결과가 그 당시의 전쟁 국면이라든지 국가 상황에 큰 영향을 미쳤다는 겁니다. 그 예를 들면 이제 그 한산도 해전 같은 경우는 이제 그 임진왜란 초기에 일본군의 그 수륙 병진 전략을 완전히 무산시키는데 크게 기여를 했다는 겁니다. 좋아요. 수! Professor Jae also holds regular lectures on Yi Sun-shin at the time, Joseon's fleet was greatly outnumbered. However, this didn't deter the admiral. He proved again that he was an unrivaled strategist when he used the rough sea tides to corner his enemy.
통해 가지고 모든 그 배설, 경상우수사 배설이 있건 열두 척의 전선을 명량 내부 바로 with only 13 ships against over 130, Lee Sun-shin led the Korean Navy to victory against the invading Japanese forces. It was a miraculous victory. The undefeatable Lee Sun-shin. Was there never a time when he was afraid? I met him once more. He was in the middle of writing his journal. The diary, written during the time of Japanese invasion, would later be known as Nanjung Hilgi, the war diary of Admiral Lee Sun Shin. It reveals not only Admiral Lee's genius strategies, but also the person Lee Sun Shin. What did you write in your diary? 하루 일과 전쟁 상황, 전술 뿐만 아니라 내가 중요하게 생각하는 마음가짐을 적었다. 특히 필사직생, 필생직사는 내 평생을 지켜온 정신적 기반이었다. Out of the seven war diaries, Jung Yu Ilgi was written in 1597. Those who seek death shall live, and those who seek life shall die. Perhaps it was this unfaltering determination for victory that gave him his legacy. Not even the high waters or the countless enemy ships could bring down the determined Yi Sun Shin. His spirit is held up as a model for Koreans even 400 years after his death. Is it because of the dream? I feel like I know you already. Your tactics, your world. The more I learn, the more I'm beginning to respect you. Yi Sun Shin, the undying legend of Joseon. Through a short but vivid dream, I've learned a great deal about him and the power that has protected Korea for so long.